Hello, welcome to example 5 of the Sidekick Basic Kit for TI Launchpad. You can find the examples and documentation at energia.nu slash sidekick. In example 5, we're going to make sounds with the piezo buzzer. For this circuit, we will need the buzzer, two jumper wires, the breadboard booster pack, and a TI Launchpad. Place your launchpad on the top or bottom of the breadboard booster pack. Now insert your breadboard booster pack into the breadboard along the middle spine. You can use either the 20 pin or 40 pin headers. All the example circuits utilize the first 20 pins, which gives us more space to work with on the breadboard. If you need additional inputs and outputs from the launch pad, you can use the 40 pins. If you need to remove the booster pack from the breadboard, use a rocking motion to easily free it. Do not pull directly on the booster pack or you may damage it. We will connect the buzzer to the launch pad to create noise. Connect the longer leg of the buzzer to pin 19. Connect the shorter leg of the buzzer to ground. Use the included jumper wires to make the connections. Now let's get started with the software. First, plug your launch pad to your computer over USB. Now open up example 5 from the Sidekick code examples. This code will play a melody with the buzzer. It is easy to customize the code to play your own melodies. You can learn more about the concepts in this circuit online under the example page. And that's it. Now you can flash your launch pad with the upload button. Listen to your buzzer play a tune. If it isn't, try hitting the reset button and go through the troubleshooting tips online under the example page. There are many more example circuits available with the Sidekick. Check out the Energia tutorials and refer to the Energia website for documentation and project ideas. Good luck!